If you've ever wanted to break it down in the kitchen, <laughs> you don't have to wait for your favorite jam to come on this time. <laughs> That's right, because uh, right now, Sarah, live and local at the French Kitchen, where today is you know, all about dishing out the secrets <laughs> to breaking down a whole chicken. This is a very foul story, oh. Sarah. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Craig and Abby. Isn't she a beaut? I can't stop chicken her out. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. You guys, we are doing a chicken cooking <laughs> class today. That is why we are ready to show you how it's done, the delicious dishes, with, of course, Chef Janine Bourgeois. Thank you so much. Oh, Sarah, I am so looking forward to this. Oh, I love too. hanging out with you. You oh. and I get to hang out with some of my favorite students at yes. the same time. We I mean, so I, I forgive here. you that it's not even 6 a.m. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you're worth it. So when we started this, the, the big importance is that you just have to pat it dry, not to actually wash chicken. Ooh, you know, let's just start with case. No yeah, number one <laughs> hottest tip of the yes. chicken expert class is don't wash chickens. No. What are you washing? What are you, I mean, it's not, you're not actually putting soap or disinfectant or anything on mm -hmm. it. All you're doing is spreading the bacteria of salmonella and trust me, you don't Ooh. want salmonella. No. You're spreading that all over your kitchen to okay. your kids, your pets, your you don't want that. No. So mm -mm. all you need to do is take a few paper towels, pat it dry, and then toss them. I just learned that I've been doing this wrong for like several, several years because I always wash the chicken. And actually, my brother, who's a doctor, called me out last time. He said, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm washing the chicken. I'm going to say it's doctor approved <laughs> advice. Yes. Doctor approved. By the way, there you go, Brother Ferguson. So, yes. <laughs> and so tell us a little bit. So we're going to break the chickens down today and make four different dishes. Yes, we are. We're going to break it down into its primal pieces. In fact, okay. we might even have a few surprise dishes in there. Uh, we, of course, are going to use all the extra carcasses, the skin, every single piece Ooh. of this beautiful bird uh, for stocks, soups. Mm -hmm. But we're going to take uh, we're going to break it down so that the breast meat is going to become luscious chicken and dumplings. Oh, oh, yeah. I love chicken and dumplings. Oh, and, you know, girl, I'm from South Carolina. You know, I know how my chicken and dumplings. She's like, I know how to make that. I, I do. <laughs> I'm confident in my chicken and dumplings recipe. We got then this. we're going to take the thigh meat and we're going to make uh, white bean chicken chili. Maybe a little of those Pueblos in there. Just saying. A represent, for, there. represent for Colorado. <laughs> uh, the wings are going to get a nice uh, local beer soap marinade and then a dry rub. Yum. Uh, and then what else we're doing? Oh, yeah, the legs. Uh, Jamaican jerk Ooh. on the legs, right? You see, that was your favorite, Did right? Did you just Tom? call me a jerk? I did. Never, ever in my life, I promise. Wow, so subtle. Uh, and then we're even going to make up a little pineapple rice to go with that too. Why not? Well, we are excited. Well, we have to wrap up here, but we'll meet all of the students. Thanks for joining us, waking up early this morning. We're ready to make some delicious dishes to break this down. And what did you call it? Spatch? Spatch cocking. That's ah. the first step. Spatch cocking. It means mm -hmm. removing the spine. Yes. Okay, Greg and Abby. Well, we will toss it back to you. <laughs> all these recipes, Sarah, are making me crazy because they sound so good. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, they yes. are making me crazy. Yes. <laughs> what do you call removing the spine? What is that? That's uh, it's spatch cocking. Spatch cocking. Yes. Spatch cocking. Very technical term. Wow. Yes, it's never an heard official that. term. You can yeah. wow. Google it. Yep. Ma Matt's spatch cocking right the now. <laughs> it's in the weather center. <laughs> yep. All Thanks, right. Sarah. Who, who knows what that is? <laughs> I did not. I'd never heard of yeah. that. It's interesting stuff. Can't say, it. yeah. Time right now is 557. We'll be right back. Okay, first your pledge, though, from Martinez Elementary. Don't be a chicken. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> That's right. And right now, Sarah is live and local at the French Kitchen, where she's learning all about their chicken expert cooking class. Sarah, good morning. Mm, good morning, Craig and Abby. Yes, we have officially, it's a very technical term, spatchcock the chicken. So we are ready to get going cooking this morning. But I have a question for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. What day do chickens hate the most? Mm. Mm. Oh. Friday. Friday. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. That was a sizzler. Good. That was a Good. sizzler. Gonna need some ice for that burn. <laughs> Joined right now by Chef Janin here, showing us how it's done with the chicken expert cooking class with all of our students this morning. Thank you all so much for waking up with us, joining us, and um, doing some really awesome things this morning. Uh, playing with raw chicken. Yeah, oh, I mean, really I fun. I personally wake up at <laughs> five in the morning and play with raw chicken. I mean, me too. It's, it's a joy for me. Why not? Why not? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how we got here and then what we're going to do next. Oh, yes. 
So we started with the spodge cocking, as you so namely said. Yes. Yes, which means removing the spine. I showed off a little bit of uh, how to perfectly roast your chicken. Everybody's going to do roasting <laughs> a little bit different, better grill. I just want people to see how beautiful mine are because I definitely did these and Chef Janin didn't. No. It. She didn't touch it at all. I was 100% you. Uh, so <laughs> then we, after we took out its spine, right, we mm -hmm. removed its spine in a very shuriken kind of way. Uh, then we uh, broke down the dark meat versus white meat, right? We okay. took off the wings. Now we're going to actually debone and de skin the breast and the thigh meat. Great. So that we can use that for our chicken and dumplings, our chi white Looks meat like chicken. It's like a little chili. heart right now. Yes, we're just showing you all the love to all the viewers today with all the, the, love. the heart. What's left on our cutting board right now is just the breast meat. So we're going to debone and de skin that next. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Chef Janin. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to talk to Mary. Thank you so much, too. He's been over here poking me with that knife. I'm He's just going to get him out of here. It's okay, I'll move this. <laughs> just kidding. So, Mary, mm -hmm. you've been doing this for a really long time. What class number is this for you? This is class number 137. And 25 <laughs> or 26 Sorry. this year. Holy cow! How many days of a week do you come to take a class? Um, but usually one or two. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes I do two or three or four. Um, I think the most I take, took in one day was five. So do you have a favorite class here? I do not. Every <laughs> class, every class is different, unique, and I meet new people and new friends every day. Aww. So are you ready to teach your own classes? Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> you could teach me a lot, trust me. I've learned a lot today. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you so much for joining us. We're going to come over here to Savannah. Also, the other students here, thank you so much for joining us all morning long. This is your very first class, Savannah. How is it going so far? Really good. I've learned a lot. Great. And so what would you say for people who've never been to the French Kitchen to come down and try one of these classes? Um, you definitely learn a lot of new things, a lot of new skills. So. And people can't see it, but you are smiling very big <laughs> under that mask, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, 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 sounds good. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're going to get cooking with the chicken, Craig and Abby. We're going to toss it back to you. <laughs> I need to take this class. I say that every time she goes, but I really do need to. The French Kitchen is so good. Help. Yeah, Chef Janet, yes. too, so good at what she does. Makes it so easy. Don't be a chicken, Abby. Get in yeah. the kitchen. I know. I know. <laughs> cross, cross the road, Abby. Get to cooking, girl. I'm coming. <laughs> Thanks, right. Sarah. Thank you. Hey, time now at 631. If you ever wanted to break it down in the kitchen, mm. you don't have to wait for your favorite jam to come jam. on this time. That's right, because right now, Sarah, live and local in the French kitchen, where today it's all about dishing out the secrets to break down a whole chicken. Sarah, good morning. <laughs> what do you know? Good Morning, Craig and Abby. Yeah, if you just saw, we did the little chicken dance. We've been breaking it down all morning long. That's what we do here at the French Kitchen. Breaking it down with the chicken dance? Breaking it down with the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> We're really excited for all of these recipes this morning. We want to talk about the first one with Chef Janin, the white bean chicken chili. Yes. Uh, great utilization for dark meat, also white meat, mm -hmm. and uh, any of those not as pretty cuts. Right? <laughs> when you start breaking down your whole chicken, it's so much more effective. It's, uh, it's cheaper, right? Mm -hmm. um, one of the tips I give in my chicken expert class, best time to buy a whole chickens. Best time. Do you oh. know? Do you know? No. Uh, the week of Halloween, all right, the last week of October, first week of November. Oh, why you is that? You go in because they, the grocery stores will sell them at a loss because hmm. they got to make room for all the turkeys. Oh, right? so good tips. You go in, you buy all your chickens, <laughs> you break them down, and then you use the, the bones for stock. You use the pieces like the dark meat and the chicken tenders for our white bean chicken chili. Um, and I mean, I heard there's a little debate between the whole Hatch and Pueblo thing. Right? <laughs> Stick with the Pueblos. Yeah. Put that down for Col Colorado. Uh, you Using some, some Pueblo chilies in there as well. Great. Give it a little heat. And we want to talk about some of the ingredients we have up here and also what they're chopping over here. Yes, my very studious team. Uh, <laughs> they are doing amazing. I've got Jesse over here chopping onions. Nate is rocking out the bell peppers. That's all going into that white bean chicken chili. We have uh, the rest of our team continuing to break down those beautiful birds so that we can make our other great dishes like <laughs> the chicken and dumplings, like, uh, like the... Uh, Colorado beer braised chicken wings. Right? We might be playing with those next. And are we going to have a little beer too? <laughs> yeah. It's. I mean, it's only six o'clock. It's, it's, it's time. It's our happy hour. It's time to start. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you. I did bust out a few extra of those chicken livers. Some of the ladies oh. and gentlemen today saw some of those innards popping out when we oh. were breaking that puppy down. Yummy. But um, we're going to turn those chicken livers into a lovely, gorgeous chicken mousse. Maybe using a little brandy, a little Ooh. shallot. 
that little Chicken gorgeousness. Mousse. Yum. Yum. I've actually never tried that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm starting to hear that from you, and okay. I love introducing people to new things. So right, Great. And so you guys offer classes here. Where can people go for more information? Yes, our website, absolutely the best option. In fact, we just rolled out our calendar all the way through December. Oh. So you can book your Christmas and holiday and all those fun <laughs> Thanksgiving Day meals. Uh, but Chicken Expert is one of our most popular, so you can definitely sign up for next month on our website, tfkcc.com. Uh, the last page is your class calendar, so it'll tell you the menus, how many slots are left open. Getting a little popular. Ooh, you sign, sign up sign early. Up quick. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sarah. I do have to mention over here, Nate, Jesse, and Mary, they are all the experts in this class right now. They're those students that usually sit in the front of the class. Nate's been showing me a few tricks this morning. Craig and Abby, one question for you. How do you know if a chicken has been arrested? Hmm. Oh. Uh, I it's don't know. It's been handcuffed. Oh. Handcuffed. <laughs> all day, guys. All day. We're here. Just for you guys, I brought that one oh, up. That was a good mm -hmm. one. Good stuff, <laughs> ladies. Spice. Thank you so Little much. Sugar and spice and everything nice. There you go. <laughs> All right, 640. Now let's get back to Matt right now and uh, check on weather. Today, okay, but tomorrow you say is a little bit risky. And don't be a chicken. Get in the kitchen, Craig. So right now, uh, yeah, Sarah, <laughs> live, live, it was that, is that right? Pet a chicken was, or hold a chicken? Well, that's a lot. The kind I of haven't chicken held a live like. chicken. I've held yeah. a cooked chicken or a you know, raw chicken. You should go to a petting zoo sometime. It wasn't a good experience for the chicken, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> if that's, if that's when I yeah. had it, yeah. Gotta be gentle. So uh, Sarah, live and local right now in the French kitchen where she's learning all about their chicken expert cooking classes. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Abby. I'm going to continue with my little chicken jokes this okay. morning. Why can't you tease an egg white? Ooh. Why can't you tease an egg white? It's a good one. Mm. Because know. they can't take a yolk. Oh, I like that one. Uh, I no, like I that, that one. That one was kind of cute. Even oh, our guests are laughing approved. that one. That yes. one's approved. That's nice. Sarah, quick question. Oh, quick question. You. <laughs> yes. Have you mm -hmm. ever held a live chicken? Hmm. Oh, I had a little baby chick oh, in science class in high school that I uh, took care of for a little bit. Well, there you go. I will never do it again. Okay, science, we don't want to know what happened. We dissected one no, in science. No, again, no. not a good go experience ahead, for the chicken. Oh. Take it away, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about dissecting chickens, we are actually making some delicious food this morning. So that's yummy, waking up to some delicious news this morning. <laughs> talking to Chef Janin mm -hmm. and Nate over here, a very good student here at the French Kitchen. What are we making here? Actually, Nate can tell us. Nate, Nate what, what are we doing? So it's a white bean chicken chili. We're starting with sauteing some vegetables. We got some onion, some green pepper, and some jalapenos as well. Do you have your own cooking show? Oh no. <laughs> You're really good he at will. that. He will. I'm, Remember I'm just the name. Learning. Remember the name. I'm still Nate, learning. Nate's on the fast track to cooking <laughs> cooking stardom. I can promise you. I absolutely think so. So what else goes in here? Ooh. So we've got Ooh. some chicken that's actually marinating right now. Some spices, Ooh. some cumin, some oregano, coriander, some other seasonings, and some pepper and salt. We got some frozen corn that's going to go in towards the end. That way it's peak season, right? Because yeah. right now, oh, yeah. not corn season. We got to get the corn it, when it's from season. It's beak season. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then, of course, the, the white beans in two forms. We actually got some whole beans for mm. the texture, and then we got some that we ground up for uh, a thickening agent. Yes, Isn't I that love brilliant? it. Yes, it, it honestly smells so good. I am in love this morning. How long do we cook the veggies before we throw in the meat? You just want them tender. You don't need to caramelize. You don't need to really cook them down. What you really want to do is just start the process okay. so that way everything has mm, texture and volume. Mm. And, mm. Mm. All the, mm. I love it. I love Got the energy know. this morning. So thank you so much. We're going to walk over here to Miss Jessie. Tell us what you are making. So we've got some pineapple rice going. Oh. So we've got some crushed pineapple in here, a little bit of sugar. Um, some lime juice, lime zest, and we're just getting ready to put the lid on it and let it go for a while. Mm, it smells delicious. Yes. I love it. Is this your recipe? Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, that's what's going with what's in here. This Ooh. is our Jamaican jerk chicken legs. Look at this. You have to make sure to marinate your chicken because you don't want it to be dry and you want it to taste good for your guests. Not in this kitchen. Uh -uh. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not in this kitchen. It's not, not going to be dry. <laughs> well, we want to bring in a special guest this morning, Chef Blondie. Come on in. Woo! Woo! Making a special appearance just for Bonjour. Fox 21. Bonjour! Bonjour! So tell this us. is the one with the fancy French accent, not yes. just the fancy French sounding last name. 
Well, thank you for being here. Right, I appreciate it. <laughs> Just for business. <laughs> Just for business. Well, thank this you This is live TV, here. by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, not. God. It's real, I promise. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for joining us. Thanks yeah, for being here. It was good in here. Great and Abby. at 7 a.m. though. How are we doing so far? You're, you're the big boss here. She's the big boss. I try. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, we're going to toss it back to you in studio. Bonjour. Bonjour. So, so good, good to see her. Bonjour. There we go. Yeah. Wee wee. <laughs> Speaking of that, here comes Ed Nesta oh. with us in studio. Right. All right. Thanks, Th Sarah. Ladies, thank you so much. If you ever wanted to break it down in the kitchen, you don't have to wait for your favorite jam to come on this time. Yeah, that's because right now Sarah's still live and local at the French Kitchen, where today is all about dishing out the secrets and breaking down a whole chicken. Sarah, good morning. Mm. Good morning, Craig and Abby. We are cooking with the onions this morning. It really stings the nostrils and mm. makes you want to cry yes. just a bit. But guess what? We are excited to cook this next little moose here. We're joined by Tom, Vicky, and of course, we have Chef Janin. Sean's over there with his eyes trying to not blink. It's, <laughs> it is a little potent, isn't it? Very much, yes. But guess what? We're going to add the chicken in there. This is the chicken liver. livers. Mm -hmm. Livers, there we go. And so tell me a little bit about why you love taking classes like this. Why do I like taking classes like this? I learn a lot. Um, these guys are all awesome. The energy is fantastic. Great. So yes. I, I didn't even pay to him cook. to say that. Yes. <laughs> he, she's going to say behind the might. scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so Chef Janin, tell us a little bit about what goes in here. Uh, all the luscious goodness, right? Uh, including those uh, beautiful chicken livers. We mm. had to uh, add a few because that's not what came out of our chicken carcasses today. But <laughs> in fact, uh, there's no onion in here. It's actually shallot. Oh. It's, it's the fancy French cousin to the onion, oh, but also oui, oui. quite potent this morning. <laughs> um, and after he uh, sautés the chicken livers with some diced apples, some fresh, uh, some dried thyme, Ooh. then you're gonna add the piste de la resistance, which which is, do you remember? Ooh, this yes. delicious. No, yeah, yeah, no, right here. What's right the here. spice White blend? Pepper, salt, mm -hmm. and brandy. And brandy. There you Ooh go, la la. plus for the day. Right. Do we pour <laughs> that in there too? Not until Not. eight minutes. Oh. You gotta get, you, he's got seven and a half minutes left. Put it down, he, Sarah. It's, it's, a down it's a recipe. <laughs> it's a recipe for a reason. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna time this out. Tom's got this fully under control. <laughs> yes. Chef Janin, I'm not very good with recipes. I kind of just <laughs> throw things in the pot and keep tasting. Uh, I feel that, mm. but you know what? You're gonna want the livers to cook down yeah. a little bit before yeah. you start tasting. Yeah, and plus, yeah. you know, it's probably better for the diet too. A little bit, a yeah. little bit. Mm -hmm. And we have Vicki over here. What are you marinating in this little number? So we are making color. Colorado Springs chicken wings, Ooh. and they are marinating right now in beer, water, brown sugar, Ooh, and heavy. salt. <laughs> so we'll let them marinate a little bit longer, take them out, dry them out, sprinkle them, and then bake them. This sounds delicious. I am so excited for this. Thank you all for joining us. We appreciate it. Chef Janin, thank you. Oh, of course. I mean, <laughs> they're really happy because they get to eat all of this um, as well. Right. We Everything here is actually either going to be eaten here or taken home. So that looks really good, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It's starting to. It's starting, it's starting to. to look better. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to try this? I heard that you haven't tasted this yet. I am going to try it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't know about taking it home, though. Oh, because it's because it's too good. Because you're going to eat it all yourself. I might Ooh, it all right. right. Oh. Well, I happen to know a guy with a really fresh baguette that would go excellent with, with this particular. Oh, yeah. It's the French mm -hmm. kitchen. Just Snap, saying. crackle, and pop. We are going <laughs> to toss it back to Craig in the studio with USA Wrestling. Sarah, thanks a lot. Okay. Don't be a chicken. Get in the kitchen. Does yeah. that rhyme? Kitchen chicken? Kitchen chicken. Sure. <laughs> hey, right now, Sarah, live and local in the French kitchen where she's learning all about their chicken expert cooking classes. Sarah, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Craig and Abby. Let's give them dumpling to talk about oh. because we are making chicken and dumplings right now. We're so excited. We're going to put a little something something in here, Chef Janin, right? Uh, yeah, that's something something being dumplings. <laughs> I love that. But check out this, this big hearty vegetables of mm. our uh, chicken, right? Our chicken stock. Everything that went, went in, what do we in here, Savannah? It was uh, fresh thyme, all the chicken. <laughs> all the chicken, um, celery, 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 carrots. carrots. Mm. Right? And now, what went into these beautiful dumplings? Flour, salt, bacon powder, chives, and um, lots of butter. butter. butter and, and all milk. the butter. All right, Savannah, <laughs> stop stirring for me for just a second. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to steam the dumplings here in this pan. Ooh. So, we're going to take two spoons and just dollop 
just like this. Ooh, so you don't even have to roll you them out. You don't even have to roll them out. You just there. drop them in like little drop biscuits. Yum. And then we're going to put the lid on and let them steam both kind of underneath with all of that beautiful broth <laughs> kind of flavoring. And Mo, I'm going to let you finish that up. And I don't know if you're like me, but when I have chicken and dumpling soup, I take more of the dumplings. <laughs> and then I just kind of finish it off with just a little bit of the sauce. You know what? What's really <laughs> nice about this method is it soaks it up from the bottom mm. and then keeps it all nice and fluffy and steamy on the top. Perfect. Uh, but speaking of <laughs> toppings, we're into the final phases of our chicken expert class, yes. which means we're garnishing uh, this beautiful white bean chicken chili that's giving me the full facial at the moment, <laughs> um, is going to get garnished with none other than that crispy chicken skin that you made, Miss yes. Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> Such a beautiful job. I did my work today. She did. I get uh, an A+. Plus. <laughs> 100%. She gets gold stars, A+. Plus. Yes. Top of the class. I love it. And then you put this on top of the chili? Well, of course. You got to have that texture. Mm. We have the two kinds of, we have the beans. Half of the beans were in their hole and half of the beans have been pureed to thicken that sauce. But then you also want that crunch. <gasps> and what's better crunchy than a chicken skin? Um, mm. Yeah. And how long did we cook those at what temperature? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in there, but that's in about it. In your recipe packet. I love that. Uh, so 375 is ideal. Okay. About eight to 10 minutes. All you got to do, you don't have to flip them. You don't have to turn them. You mm -hmm. just put them in there. I put a little sunflower oil because it's really high heat oil and it's neutral so you get all that chicken crispy flavor Yum. and then as soon as it comes out of the oven you hit it with some kosher salt Perfect. and thank you for letting me be your taste tester today <laughs> it's, it's a really really it's tough a, job it is a tough job <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much. We You're appreciate welcome. you. Mo, you are doing fantastic, but right, we need some you. Mo of those dumplings. <laughs> Greg and Abby, we'll toss it back to you. Give them something to, no, dumpling to talk about. <laughs> give them dumpling I, to talk that's about. That's it. There that's you go. It. See, I can't Let get my give them dumpling You're to struggling talk struggling about. Today. I have never had this mm -hmm. much fun in the kitchen. I'm just saying. See what this I mean? is this is some right. special stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no time to be a chicken. Get in the kitchen there you go. for all the fixings Thanks. for yeah. dinner. Yeah, the kitchen's a dark place for you. It is. It? It's it a is. very it's terrifying a, place. It's an emotional place. Like, you even hate just to go in and get a snack. It's that I do. terrifying. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Time now is 8.28. If you ever wanted to break it down in the kitchen, you don't have to wait for your favorite jam to come on this time. Hip, 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 hippie chick. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's because right now, you know that song? I don't. You don't know Hippie Chick? Maybe if it was oh sung like gosh. the way it's supposed to. That's back at the same time as Grooves in the Heart. Oh, that kind, I do know, know that one. You know that one? Mm -hmm. You know Hippie Chick, our guest? Oh, he knows it. <laughs> See, the bug guy knows. Okay. Hey, right now, Sarah, live and local at the French Kitchen, uh, where today it's all about dishing out the secrets to breaking down a whole chicken. Sarah, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down morning, for us. Good morning, Craig and Abby. Yes, we broke down the hull chicken, and we are ready for the dishes now. We're going to give you the secret so you can have these in your home. Mm -hmm. Talking about chicken skin, oh. crispy chicken skin. Oh, my gosh, it is to die for. It mm -hmm. is so good. <laughs> Chef Janin, thank you so much it's for joining us. Keto chips is what they are. Keto chips. Keto chips. I could eat them all day. You could. Let's just say that. And so we want to start over here because we have quite a few dishes that we made this morning. Yeah, look what my gangster of a team just did, <laughs> it right? It is so good. Students, everyone from their very first day to their 100 plus plus class started with the amazing jerk chicken legs with the pineapple rice. We got our white bean chicken chili with those gorgeous mm -hmm. chicken skin chips. We got our Colorado Springs chicken wings made in the oven and crispy and delicious with homemade ranch, including homemade aioli, which they also made today. Oh my goodness, class, rock stars. This is our chicken liver mousse with all that brandy and shallot whipped up to gloriousness. <laughs> and over here's this big old steamy pot. <gasps> Ooh, heck yeah. That's Delicious. our chicken and dumplings. Oh my goodness, that looks so, so good. So, I can uh, get underneath. The dumplings actually steamed on top, but look at that. Gorgeous. Oh my Carrots. gosh, that looks so good. Celery. It smells delicious. And, and is that thyme that you said? Yes, that's in all there? the fresh thyme. And oh. then you just take these big, beautiful <laughs> dumplings. dumplings right on top. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Yeah. See, I did remember we used the thyme in there. We did. Of there course. was thyme. You know. All the time for thyme. <laughs> I followed along with all the students this morning who, by the way, are all right here. Yay. Thank you guys all so much for joining us this morning and helping uh, Chef Janin mostly. Because <laughs> I honestly didn't. 
didn't do much. I she made the chicken talked. skins. Don't let her lie. <laughs> she knows how to make chicken skins now. She can make them for the office. Shh, okay, I'm sorry. I just have to grab one of these again because holy cow, they are so good. And while I'm eating this, yes, <laughs> could please you please tell us when people can come down? Well, of course, we're, we're normally open Monday through Saturday, but good to know mm -hmm. this uh, Mother's Day Sunday, we're going to be exceptionally open mm. on Mother's Day Sunday for pickups and pre-orders and things like that. Okay. But uh, we have classes typically Tuesday through Saturday. We have day classes, evening classes. In fact, we just pushed our calendar out through the end of the year. Oh, wow. And we had a grand unveiling last week of our children's classes. Yay. They're skill set level classes. They're not, you know, it's not just, you know, give them some sugar and send them home to you. <laughs> no, these are lifelong building blocks that I get to impart with these kids uh, starting this July. So, great. yes, check out our website, tfkcc.com, or swing by. We're over here in Academy in Flint Ridge. Uh, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. or if you want to schedule late night pickups, we do those too. Just check us out online. A little bit of everything. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. <sighs> thank you, Sarah. Of course. And thank you for our chicken chips. Yeah, oh, you're very welcome. Abby, we are going to toss it back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. Time right now is 842.